Hello there YouTubers, welcome to my Orchard videos. Well, bring to you another compact tractor. Something you don't see in the agricultural um, uh, industry very often. But <clears throat> this is a pamphlet I got from Vintrac. Now these are, I think they're the Swiss Army Knife of tractors. Uh, you can basically put any implement you want, basically want on them, and they're they are amazing. They're uh, they're very low, they're articulating. You can turn on a dime, and you can basically adjust the width by adding more tires. You need to do these here. So they're low center of gravity. They have a uh, a small engine. It could be gas or diesel and they're all steel and you basically put any kind of implement on them so anyways i'm going to get to it um there's not very many of these dealerships around there's one up the valley here about five hours away so but uh yeah this I, this got sent to me from uh, from them so i requested a uh, brochure because i'm i'm very interested in one of these and the good thing about it too, they have a few different engines. Uh, they're powered by uh, Kyo uh, Kawasaki engines and Kubota, either gas or diesel. So, very interesting. Makes it for a very versatile thing here. So, most of the uh, implements are mounted on the front, but you can do, but you can put implements on the back. But uh, most on the front. And it's very simple, very simple to hook up. So these carry a wide variety of uh, attachments. Uh, put a little front end loaders on them. You can uh, put this kind of a loader on the front, or a bucket style loader on it. So there's 30 plus attachments for it. Compact, you can use them for blowing leaves, and I mean, they even cut grass or that's super high. I mean, you can cut grass as well, six foot tall. This thing, no problem. So, and the thing is, too, being with the tractors articulating it, um. See if your land, see if you go into a spot that is kind of, um, you know, has a lot of, uh, maybe has lots of uh, holes or low spots in it. The chances of you rolling this tractor are probably near to impossible. Just because it's stance and the way it, uh, way it maneuvers. So, and it climbs. It has, it can basically, well, it's a it's four wheel drive, a four wheel disc. It can basically climb anything. It was 30, uh, 30 degrees on slopes. So if you have a vineyard or a high density orchard that's on a slope, either uh, going uh, uh, vertical or sideways, vertical or horizontal, however your uh, farm is, or you know, pasture or vineyard or orchard, uh, this thing will never slide on you and it'll go on those uh, roads pathways uh, quite easily and safe too so yeah and traction control is a very wide stance like I said you can basically make this thing as wide as you want literally but you put four tires on here you can take them take and have uh, single tires or have duals the duals is probably the best for uh, you know, uh, operating on hilly uh, uh, hilly areas, less chance of it flipping over. It probably won't flip over because it's so wide, and it's uh, at the lowest center of gravity. So yeah, yeah, it's a really good machine, really really good machine. But like I say, you don't see very many of them used, which is uh, might be might change. Other thing too, if you're into landscaping, 
this might be a good tractor for you too because you can uh, you know if you have a landscape business or if you're the kind of business that um, you um, take care of grounds maybe for a school or uh, what parks or whatever this tractor be tractor for you you know you put any kind of attachment snow blowers all sorts of stuff on here fertilizer spreaders on the back um, you know sweepers snow blowers front blade V blade on it so yeah it's uh, very interesting and they're built tough too so you put all sorts of different things on it and one of the things that create the, one of the things that really attracted me to this thing is um, the amount of implements you can get for it and uh, you know I think I was looking at like the wood chipper here right it goes in the front it's easy to mount easy to operate basically move the tractor back and forth kind of stir it back and forth you can get that motion you want for cutting uh, it's just you know, edging work you can do bucket work moving dirt whatever many more attachments that I probably don't even know about <laughs> But this tractor here, it's a 4500 series P, has a Kawasaki engine in it. You have specs there if you want to read that. And the Kubota diesel and a Kubota gasoline, gas or propane. Um, each all the have their advantages, but I personally I'd get the Kubota diesel personally because it's such a miser on fuel, which fuel is very, very important right now. Oh, here's the head you're talking about. So, this thing here is a real game changer because you can use it for a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. So, you know, um, I think these things should be used in our culture. I mean, generally, uh, like, uh, like pe people can buy, let have a cup of coffee here. Um, like here, a lot of people do, it's getting off topic, but people here, what they do is they go out and buy a tractor and then they go out and buy a different piece of, a different implement that's not really uh, brand specific, you can put on any kind of thing, right? But like this thing here, it's, uh, it's Vintrack, it's set up for the, it's, uh, it's a Vintrack, it's a Vintrack attachment, it's designed for the machine, and you have no problems, no problems with extra this or that and this machine that goes directly on there you get it just attaches no problems and I, I really like that I, I, I really like simplicity and air and in all meaning of the word so but here you go I mean this is, this is just amazing so you can do all sorts of work with this machine the hedger tons of it cut grass hedges whatever you want trees uh, you know, it's, it's just it's just amazing. So, and they call it a uh, boom boom hedger. You do many many things with it. It is a sickle bar, so it makes it ultra heavy duty. So, anyways, a bunch of attachments. I'll show you what we got here. Aerator. Now, this is interesting. It's something you don't see uh, in farming anymore. But back in the old, this is uh, farm related, of course. Um, back in the old days, people used to disc their orchards to aerate the soils. And you really don't see that anymore. But something you can use if we still want to do that in the orchard or vineyard you get one of these attachments mind you put this attachment on you find these on any kind of a, for any kind of tractor but on this specific machine you get the right attachment uh, finishing mowers you get rough cut something like a flail mower on the front different kind of mowers yep many different mowers for it 
to get vacuums and the boom mower, big brush mower, a big brush uh, broom thing. This may come in handy uh, for uh, maybe get maybe put it on your tractor for uh, or this year for uh, sweeping prunings. You can angle it and you can do sweep prunings with it too. So that'd be, that'd be kind of handy. So and there's the snow blower V plate V blade front blade on there. Uh, another snow blower turbine blower get caps for them which would be kind of handy. Spreader. That's pretty handy. Little bucket in the front. Power rake, landscaping rakes, tillers, all that, you know, I love it. <laughs> so, yeah, no tiller, ditchers. Here's a bucket loader I was talking about. Look at that. That's just cool. I like it. You know, edgers and tub grinder. So yeah, it's um it is a very versatile machine. It's many different uses, many different applications. Uh, I'll give you some specs on it, depending on what you get. I mean, different models have different horsepower ratings. But, um, I mean, this is a 4500 uh, series. It comes in a K, P, Y, or Z, depending on which one you want. Uh, the 4500K is a Vanguard big big block, which is... A Sorry, camera conked out. <laughs> uh, yeah, this one here is a... Uh, Vanguard big block uh, big construction engine. It is a uh, 31 horsepower. Peak torque is uh, 47 foot pounds. Displacement is, uh, well, I guess just said that it's a 31 horse. Two cylinder, air cooled. Uh, fuel capacity a six gallon tank. And uh, this one you can basically put on any kind of slope from 20 degrees to 30 degrees and uh, yeah the width on this machine or the uh, weight I mean the weight on it is uh, uh, 1340 pounds uh, the width uh, weight with accessory kit you, know, you can read that if you want uh, the uh, 45, 4500P is a Kawasaki engine which would be standard on this one, particularly, and uh, it's uh, gasoline, of course. 31 horsepower, 47 foot-pounds of torque. It is liquid-cooled, which is a lot nicer than air-cooled. Six-gallon tank. So it runs on slopes that are 30 degrees, which is good. And this one weighs uh, 1,575 pounds. The 4500, I should probably put this a little bit better here. The 4500Y, uh, it's a Kubota engine. Anyways, uh, you know, these, uh, there's, well, I'll, I'll just continue the specs here. So, uh, the uh, 4500Y, it's another uh, Kubota diesel engine. Uh, it's 25 horsepower and it has uh, 42 foot pounds of torque. It is a three cylinder liquid cooled six gallon tank. It runs on 20 and 30 degree uh, slopes. The 45Z is another Kubota uh, bi fuel ready engine. It is, uh, if it's uh, Gasoline, it's uh, 32.5 horsepower, or on propane, it's 31. It has 51 foot pounds of torque. So, I think all in all, maybe the bi fuel one is probably the best bet. One of these two here would be the best. Uh, either the 
45Y or the 45Z because you have more horsepower in this one here for sure. So, and liquid cooled 6 gallon tank. Uh, you can run between 20 and 30 degree angles. So, yeah, there's a lot of controls, a lot of specs you saying they're very, very versatile. Well, there's, there's a multiple multitude of accessories you can get for them. So, you just have to check out your Vintrack dealer and see what you can get. So, yeah, yeah, there's tons and tons of stuff you can get. This is an interesting little machine. So, alrighty, well, I'm not being uh, sponsored to advertise this at all, but uh, you can check out this uh, if you want, Vintrack.com. I definitely would recommend this tractor for any kind of uh, any kind of work. Um, doesn't matter if you're landscaping uh, or uh, yard maintenance, uh, orchard or vineyard. I definitely recommend it for it. It's a good solid built machine, and I think you would get many many years out of it, trouble free. Of course, if you're a harsh operator, you know that always changes. So, anyways, um, thanks so much for my video. And be more coming up uh, from uh, my video series on tractors. Okay. Thanks for watching, and bye for now.